Hello all. Today we are going to discuss vector integration which comes under vector calculus. So here first one is surface and volume integrals. First one is an integral evaluated over a surface is called surface integral. Main applications are used in multiple areas of physics and engineering. In particularly they are used for calculations of mass of shell, center of mass and movement of inertia of shell, gravitational force and pressure force, fluid flow and mass flow across surface like that. And uh, surface integral is denoted double integral of a bar dot n cap ds over s where a bar is vector function of x, y, z over s n cap is unit normal to the surface s ds small element area so n cap ds means dy dz i plus dz dx j plus dx dy k so n cap dot k cap ds means dx dy in x o y plane x o y plane next one n cap dot j cap ds is equal to dz dx that is z o x plane z o x plane next one n cap dot i cap ds is equal to dy dz that is y o z plane so this is the surface integral next one volume integral if v is the volume bounded by the surface and f x y z is a single valued function defined over v is triple integral of f into dv so that is triple integral of f of x y z dx dy dz so main volume integral used here three dimensional domain that is special case of multiple integrals it is uh, important in physics to calculate flux density and solve it like that so here again i have given here some integral theorems that is first one is green's theorem if r r is the closed region of x y plane bounded by simple closed curve c and if m and n are two continuous functions of x comma y having continuous first order partial derivatives in the region r then integral m dx plus n dy over to c is equal to double integral of do n by do x minus do m by do y into dx dy this is the statement of green's theorem next one is stokes theorem statement is if s is the surface bounded by the simple closed curve c if f bar is any continuous differentiable vector function then integral f bar dot dr bar over to c is equal to double integral curve f bar dot n cap into ds over s curl means del cross f bar double integral of del cross f bar dot n cap into ds over to s this is the statement of stokes theorem v is another theorem gauss divergence theorem if v is the volume bounded by surface s yes, and f bar is continuous differentiable vector function then triple integral dy f bar into dv over to v is equal to double integral of f bar dot n cap into ds over to s where n cap is positive unit vector drawn normal to s here gauss divergence theorem is relation between triple integral volume integral and surface integral so that is the gauss divergence theorem so i'll given here some examples of this theorems first theorem is green's theorem so that example is here verify green's theorem in a plane for integral 3x square minus 8y square dx plus 4y minus 6xy into dy where c is where c is the boundary so here c c is the boundary of the region enclosed by y is equal to root x and y is equal to x square so solution is first we have to find out the intersection of these two parabolas so that is the points of intersection of parabolas y is equal to root x and y is equal to x square so intersection points we have to find out so that's why we have to take it like this root x is equal to x square then equating these two parabolas 
root x is equal to x square. Then x is equal to squaring on both sides. Then we are getting here x is equal to x to the power of 4. Then simplify. Then we are getting x value is equal to 0 comma 1. And hence these values substitute here. Then we are getting the y values is equal to y is equal to 0 comma 1. So therefore intersection points are 0 comma 0 and 1 comma 1. So next one is we have to verify the Green's theorem. That's why we have to take it first one. Let m is equal to 3x square minus 8y square. And n is equal to dy coefficient that is 4y minus 6xy. Then we have to find out first order partial derivatives. So therefore dou m by dou y is equal to minus 16y. And uh, with uh, next one dou n by dou x with respect to x. Partial derivative with respect to x. Treat y as constant. So like this. So this is the derivative 0. Second one minus 6. Y is constant. Derivative of x is 1. Minus 6y. So this is. Next one by Green's theorem is. Integral m dx plus n dy is equal to double integral of dou n by dou x minus dou m by dou y dx dy. This is the statement of Green's theorem. So we have to take it. We have to prove this. LHS is equal to RHS. That's why I am taking first part is LHS. LHS is equal to integral of m dx plus n dy. So then this is, this can be right like this. Because here two cars, two parabolas, two Parabolas are there. That's why graph is like this. First parabola y is equal to x square. This is second parabola y is equal to root x. Then intersection point is 0, 0, 1, 1. And uh, x axis points are 1, 0 and y axis 0, 1. So then we have to find out this region or value. So that's why I am taking here first one is OA. First one this is first curve and second curve this is also OA this is in this direction so that is OA integral of OA m dx plus n dy and plus integral m dx plus n dy over to OA so this is that's why I am taking here first one is I1 second integration value is I2 I am saying like this so first one I have to calculate I1 along OA y is equal to x square so therefore dy is equal to 2x into dx here x varies from 0 to 1 Therefore, I1 is equal to integral x is equal to 0 to 1, 3x square minus 8x to the power of 4 dx plus integral 4x square minus 6x cube into 2x dx. This value is substituted in the given integral that is y is equal to x square dy is equal to 2x dy. That is we have substituted then only we are getting this one. So therefore, this integration we have to simplify that is integral x is 0 to 1. Simplify these values that is 3x square plus 8x cube minus 20x to the power of 4 dx. After integration value is 3 into integral of x square means x cube by 3 limits 0 to 1 8 into x cube. Integral of x cube means x to the power of 4 by 4 0 to 1 minus 20 into integral of x to the power of 4 means x to the power of 5 by 5 limits are 0 to 1. Substitute after simplification we are getting the value is minus 1. Next, I1 value is minus 1. Next one, I2 value. I2 along AO. So, that is y is equal to root x or x is equal to y square. Then dx is equal to 2y into dy. So, y varies from 1 to 0. So, therefore, I2 value is equal to, I2 is equal to integral y is equal to 1 to 0, 3y to the power of 4 minus 8y square into 2y dy. So, means first value is dx, no? 3x square minus 8y square. x is equal to y square, we have to substitute. And dy, dx means 2y dy. So, this is plus next value is 4y minus 6y cube. 6y into x, x value is equal to y square. So, 6y cube into dy. So, this is the integration. So, then substitute, then uh, simplify this one. Integral 1 to 0. 4y minus 22y cube plus 6y to the power of 5 into dy. So next integration. 4 into integral of y means y square by 2 limits 1 to 0. Minus 22 into integral of y cube means y to the power of 4 by 4 limits 1 to 0. Plus 6 into integral y to the power of 5 means y to the power of 6 by 6 limits 1 to 0. So substitute these limits then we are getting value is 5 by 2. So therefore this is the I2 value. Therefore I1 plus I2 is equal to minus 1 plus 5 by 2. That is equal to 3 by 2. So therefore, so next one is RHS. RHS means 
डबल इंटीग्रल डो एन बै डो एक्स मैनस डो एम बै डो वै इंटू डी एक्स डी वै वालू दट इज ईक्वल टू इंटीग्रल एक्स इज ईक्वल टू जीरो टू वन इंटीग्रल वै इज ईक्वल टू एक्स स्क्वे टू रूट एक्स दंटीग्रल डो एन बै डो एक्स वालू इज हियर एन इज ईक्वल टू फोर वै मैन सिक्स एक्स वै गिवेन इंटीग्रल सो दिन ईक्वल टू दिस दो एन बै डो एक्स वालू इज मैन सिक्स वै नेक्स्ट डो एम बै डो वै एम इज ईक्वल टू थ्री एक्स स्क्वे मैनस एट वै स्क्वे सो डो एम बै डो वै इज ईक्वल मैनस सिक्सटी वै मैनस आफ मैन प्लस सिक्सटी वै इंटू डी वै डी एक्स दस्ट इंटीग्रेशन इज वित् रेस्पेक्ट टू वै सो दट वालू इज मैन सिक्स वै प्लस सिक्सटी वै मीन टेन वै टेन इंटू इंटीग्रल आफ वै मीन वै स्क्वे बै टू लिमिट्स आर एक्स स्क्वे टू रूट एक्स सो सब्सिट्यूट दिस लिमिट्स दट इज टू फाइव फाइव कॉन्स्टेंट रईट अवट सैड फाइव इंटू इंटीग्रल एक्स जीरो टू वन सो अर लिमिट इज रूट एक्स रूट एक्स हॉल स्क्वे मैनस लोयर लिमिट इज एक्स स्क्वे एक्स स्क्वे हॉल स्क्वे सो दे सिंप्लीफा दिस वन दे आर गेटिंग युअर फाइव इंटू इंटीग्रल एक्स इज ईक्वल जीरो टू वन एक्स मैनस एक्स टू दि पवर आफ फोर इंटू डी एक्स सो अगैन इंटीग्रेट वित् रेस्पेक्ट टू एक्स Here integral of x means x square by two limits zero to one. Integral of x to the power of four means x to the power of five by five limits zero to one. Simplify afterwards we are getting the value is three by two. This is R H S and L H S. L H S is three by two. R H S is also three by two. So this theorem verified. Theorem means integral m dx plus n dy is equal to double integral of do n by do x minus do n by do y into dx dy. This is the Green's theorem. So hence Green's theorem verified. Thank you.